at some point. You best uh, give us a little... Okay, that guy is a sturdy boy. Yeah, all right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little banger by the name of Zombie Town. And with a title like that, you obviously know this game's all about unicorns and rainbows and flowers and happy times and fun. Okay, look, it's a zombie game, right? Now, we're checking this one out because I saw it. And to be honest with you, it's a very simple game, at least simple looking game. But it gave me a bit of nostalgia for those Flash games from back in the day, such as the Last Stand games, Dead Ahead Frontier, Road of the Dead, etc, etc. It's basically a game that I would say is an homage to those type of games. Just very simplistic, go out there, blad, 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 upgrade your character, unlock new weapons, survive as long as possible, etc, etc. Let's see our character here. He's his dealer. It seems that you could see you could also unlock so very much like a Flash game, you know, before microtransactions and gotcha got involved with everything, we had to pay for this stuff, right? Here, you basically earn it, and once you get enough coins, you unlock. I don't know, let's protect the street. Defend the barricades from being destroyed. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is, uh, oddly familiar, I would say, in terms of the gameplay itself. Kind of gives me that last stand vibe. How about that? Now, blad, blad, blad. I guess those things that they're dropping, though, we can't pick up. Would be nice. I'm pretty sure the instructions also momentarily tell me how to use my grenade, but um, I can't say I was paying attention, so now I don't know <laughs> how to use the grenade. As you can see right now, I'm out of uh, ammo, but let's do this and get ammo that way. Now, grenade, we'll figure it out. What do you think? Maybe spacebar? Is that what it probably told me? Could you see a spacebar being it? I can see spacebar being it. It is spacebar. Problem is that grenade doesn't travel too far, but at least we got a couple of boys from it. Chill. 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 No, no, no. Get out of here. I should terror touch the barricade. Get him, get him. Now, isn't that enough? 760 in general. Isn't that enough for something already? Let's get ourselves uh, just an overall increase. A cheap one. We could actually even get another one. You know what? Let's do it. Run for your life. Collect coins. Sounds simple enough. It's like I'm playing the old Mario game. What is shift? What is shift telling me? Oh, shift is probably if I had different weapons. Just maybe shifts through them, literally. Um, hello. Remember Falcon, you're supposed to be collecting coins? You are... Absolutely correct. Doesn't mean we don't have to kill these dudes, though, you know what I'm saying? Did I, did I take damage? I didn't even swing it. Well, this works for me as it gives me... Can I run? No. I'm gonna boom all these guys right now, watch. Up. Oh. No. Nope. Get out of the way of the boom machine. Oh, come on, you scums. Got him. <laughs> it was worth it. Took a little time to sing it up there, but it was fun. I guess we could have also used a grenade bomb. Yeah. Hindsight. How's our knife, by the way? Oh, yo, our knife does massive. Yo, the knife just keeps him away. Spam the knife. To spam the knife! They weren't counting on how quickly I could, you know, hit this right click. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I mean, we're almost up to a thousand. I think the shock is gonna be no problem. Let's do, uh, kill zombie boss. Let's, let's do stay alive. Survive until the timer ends. We could do that. We can absolutely do that. Don't use the first aid just yet. It's fine, it's fine, it's there, but I'm not gonna use it. And I guess the exclamation mark just means enemies are coming from that direction. That is like I was supposed to like follow or something. Oh, the, oh no, the HP thing disappears over time? Yo, this dude did a number on me just by standing next to me. I do wish there was a bit more animation to their attacks because it just seems like if you're like in their general vicinity, you take damage. It's basically a worse version of touch damage from like, you know, platformer games. Which, by the way, I hate. Oh my god, I, I hate him so much. I recently played this uh, fan 
game. Well, not really a thing. It's a game that's actually releasing on Steam soon. But it uses Metal Slug as uh, the basis of its the game itself. And it reminded me that Metal Slug was one of the first games that taught me, like, you know, as long as you're near an enemy, you can run by them and, like, you know, you're fine. It's only if they actually swipe at you, like, they make an attack at you or shoot at you, that you die. Alright, that's set. I'm curious about this toilet, too. Oh, the toilet just drops coins, of course. Why are these random toilets in the street? I mean, do you find random toilets in the street a bit more awkward than, I don't know, a massive uh, living undead? Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, I mean, I've I've indulged in zombie culture for so long that you know the undead are just kind of like something I'm used to. I I hate that. I hate that. Oh, touch damage! It's back. They're back, Bard, in pug form. All right, I'm about to blad you guys with that. But yes, I do find. Toilets in the middle of the street a bit more awkward than zombies, yes. What about it? What about it, my friends? I hear we're just supposed to kill a number of these dudes. I guess we just blat away. Oh, that's good. Those are my coins, though. Give my coins. This is the last one. Got him. How are we at his points, by the way? Oh, we almost have that shotgun. My god, this is rarely... You know what I like about this? It's very quick. Everything is just like in and out, in and out. Another stay alive here. Is it 30 seconds each time? No, this time is a minute. So you're making me go, it's, it's collect, it's stay alive number two, Falcon, you see. So it's, um, it's supposed to be a little bit more difficult number one. So how do you make it more difficult? Well, from 30 seconds, you go to a minute. All right, well, I guess that's, that makes sense, I suppose, sure. I'm trying to figure out what these red boys are about with the red aura. Like, do they drop, I guess they just drop more goods. Although it feels like everybody's dropping goods, so. Hold on. No, you see, the red aura dudes actually drop, like, heals and supplies. Meanwhile, non-auras don't do that. I see. I feel you now. I'm gonna protect the street. I feel this is gonna be the tough one over time. Like, once they start sending, like, crazier hordes at you, it's gonna be, like, the last stand. And this is where you definitely want to have some better weapons. Speaking of which, I need probably more bullets than just seven. Yeah, over time, I feel like this is going to be like the really toughest one. Or maybe even the, the zombie boss one. It depends on how difficult those bosses are. How quick they are, too. See, the big problem right now is that... My gun can actually... Oh, it, it did. Nice. I was worried that my gun, for some reason, couldn't reach that barrel. However, I don't think it's going to be able to reach the top one, or is it? You know what I should do? I should have, like, the barrels already, like, halfway or almost close to blowing up. So whenever I need them on the, on the spot, boom, you blow it up. Instantly. That's not a bad strategy. As a matter of fact, once I kill this dude... Okay, it's taking a while. Taking a while. Take, taking a while. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Take my entire clip. Why not? Why not? Who's stopping you? This, this guy. It's his kind of dude. Yeah, <laughs> you see, I was hoping for a bit more than just two boys, but hey. One more and we're out of here. Okay, it's time for shotgun, it's time for some little bosses here. So, weapons. Give it to me. But let me actually go into our boy here and pump that and pump that again. That's good. Now, time for zombie bosses thing, yes. Shift is to change weapons, yes sir. All right. So, zombie bus must be slain. They dropped some shotgun for us. Oh, I'm liking that. As a matter of fact, let's use it now. Oh, that's what's up. Oh, good, because we got the ammo for it right there. Don't don't go away at me. Don't go. That's mine. Okay, let's switch over now. Let's work on these little scumbags here. Where's the boss at? It's got to be that red um, sign coming my way, right? Or maybe he shows up after you kill enough of his goons. Hi, you goons! That must be it. Oh, there he is! Okay, oh. <gasps> okay he switches it up on you. Blat! Ah! Oh! That's perfect. You saw we shotgun blasted him, we got the barrel to blow up on him. He basically, you know, I lured him into the best trap of all time. 
1530. That's enough for shoddy. Upgrade. We also have the assault rifle, but that's 6,000. I'm gonna have to wait. Upgrade my boy here. All right. You wanna do another boss, you're saying? Fine. I'll cater to what you guys are asking. Let's do no other boss. That's fine. Three coins. I do kind of wish you could zoom out of the screen a little bit. Like, it feels like you're kind of like, you know, all up in there. A little too all up in there for my liking, but, uh... What can you do? Here's what you can do, Falcon. You got some shotgun shells, or at least had some available. You could also be blatting with the shotgun. I'm not gonna get to that one in time, am I? Oh, I did. Surprising. Yes, sir. All you guys need to- Oh, there he is. When my entire spread touches this dude. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, go ahead over there. Ding dong. What a sucker. Yeah, my handgun doesn't do nearly enough damage, so I'm so glad we hit for that shotgun. I kind of want to keep doing this until we see like a different boss, you know? Three. I'm down to do it again. Um. But, let's do it once I upgrade the shotgun one more time. I'm not necessarily like, fearing him right now, like I feel like we got this under control, but... Okay, let's get this upgrade and then let's try out another boss and hopefully we see a little bit deviation with those here. 1200. Beautiful. Another upgrade to our dude. You know what? Yes, he's been maxed out completely. So do you think three is a nice little stopping book before it goes to like medium? Or do you think five seems more ideal? I guess it really depends on how long this game is, theoretically is. Although I don't think this is a game with an ending, to be honest, which you're considering basically it's all about unlocking different weapons and skins. I mean, how many Flash games had endings? You're right. You are absolutely correct. Uh, speaking of which, I'm out of ammo here. So this could be problematic, especially if I don't get an armor. Oh my god. He's a little bit extra spicy. Come on over here. Come on over here. I have a, a treat for you right here. No, that's not the treat. The treat's over here. Hey, come here. Oh, 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 look at this dude. He's got the moves. He's been watching The Matrix recently. There is. We got him with everything. This guy took a piece of my booty from that, though. Not crazy about that. Mine. Glad. Glad. Bring that ass down. Medium. Okay. So, we gotta do it, right? As everything has felt, indeed, a little bit too easy. I mean, I'm, I'm just calling it how it is, you know? So, will medium give us a different boss type? Get this reload here happening. And I'm also curious as to what medium does for the enemy pull. It's beautiful. Shotgun, huh? Don't mind if I do. Oh. Oh, you guys are getting sturdier, aren't you? You guys are getting a little, little saucy there on me. Alright. Right away. Ah, oh, the same dude again? Oh, come on! I guess it's a game based on repetitions. So I don't want to necessarily burn out every little single enemy type they have. But even so, at least for the first meeting, it should kind of give you like a new dude. The other thing I'm kind of curious about too, other than enemy variety, is going to be... Well, environment variety, right? We're seeing the same town over and over now. I know the game is called Zombie Town, so... It's not like we're going to suddenly be in the desert somewhere, because then it'd be like Zombie Desert. <laughs> but, you know... Um, the town can have different buildings and backgrounds, you know? N not, the entire town doesn't have to look like it's, like, immediately the same, right? There can be a little bit of variety, is all I'm gonna say, so... I'm just saying, at some point, you best, uh, give us a little- Okay, that guy is a sturdy boy! That opened up medium for those, by the way? Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Uh, we're at 2160, which is exactly what I wanted to- Wow, whoa, 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 wait, 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 not, not the handgun. Bam. Although, the handgun, I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea to upgrade that to, uh, 750. 
Sure. Let's give us a bit more max ammo. I'm not sure how long we've been recording with this, but it's one of those games where I feel like uh, we don't necessarily have to go too long, especially not giving us enough variety. So let's do maybe one more zombie boss fight, see if they give us something different to work with so it gives me an incentive to continue. Otherwise, we start wrapping it up here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. It's been Zombie Town, currently on Steam. As I've mentioned, it's going to be one of those games where I guess you kind of have more fun playing for yourself than maybe watching. But it's one you could easily lose track of time in. Only if uh, we get some variety. Because what I've been doing here thus far, and there's no variety, I'm going to probably be like, okay, well, I think I've seen it all. <laughs> if that's the case, well, maybe it's a one-timer, you know what I'm saying? The game you play once and that's about it. That's the boss again. The same guy. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined.